Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 1 of XML video. In this video, we will discuss about how to work with XML. So, actually XML is a universal markup language. XML is extensible markup language. Uh, XML can understand by any database or any operating system or any language or any technology. So, we can consider XML as a universal markup language. Initially, IBM has introduced one language called GML, Generalized Markup Language for the internal communication within that organization. Later, this GML was accepted by W3C. W3C means World Wide Web Consortium. It is an international community that develops and opens standards to ensure the long-term growth of the web. So, if W3C is accepted any language, then that language must be accepted by all the companies. Later, W3C has added some standards to the GML language and they released one language called Standard Generalized Markup Language. Under the standard SGML, two languages was introduced in the world of web. One is HTML, other one is XML. HTML is Hypertext Markup Language. XML is Extensible Markup Language. HTML is generally used to display the data. XML is generally used to describe the data. HTML supports both container tags as well as non-container tags. First of all, you must know what is a tag. Tag is nothing but any command that is enclosed with an angular basis is called as tag. Is it clear? And this uh, angular basis means less than and greater than. Every tag consists of two elements. One is starting element, other one is ending element. The tag which contains both starting element and ending element is called as container tag. Example, if you consider HTML. So, actually HTML supports both the container tags and non-container tag. Here, if you observe here, HTML consists of, uh, this is the starting element and ending element. The tag which similarly, if you consider head tag, head tag starting element as well as ending element. So, the tag which contains both starting element and ending element is called as container tag. Non-container tags means the tag which contains only starting element, but not ending element. For example, if you consider BR tag. It contains only starting element, HR tag, horizontal ruler. It consists of only starting element. So, all the HTML, HTML supports both container tags as well as non-container tags. But XML supports only container tags. XML supports only container tags. Is it clear? Means every XML tag must have starting element as well as ending element. All HTML tags are predefined and optional. But all XML tags are user defined. As I told that XML is generally used to represent some data. It is so actually even we can use XML like a database. How you are storing the data in the database in the same manner you can store the data in the XML. XML is generally used to represent the data. Whereas HTML is generally used to describe the data, uh, display the data. Like whatever the data you want to display, you can display within HTML, within the browser. XML just used to describe the data. But we will see that one in future classes. HTML is case in sense too. It does not bother about lower case and upper case. But HTML, uh, XML is case sense too. Is it clear? Small a is not equals to capital A. Every HTML program must save with .html extension or .htm. .html or htm. Every XML program must save with .xml extension. HTML is a markup language whereas XML is meta markup language. And um, actually here uh, the both HTML and XML are tag oriented languages and the output of HTML and XML will be on the browser, any browser. Is it clear? So, here the main aim of XML is, XML is generally used to transfer the data via network. Because we cannot send uh, object via network, something like that. Uh, so, the main usage of XML is any database or any OS or any program language can understand what XML. It is generally used to transfer the data. And XML can understandable by any language or any technology or any database. So, we can call XML as a platform independent and language independent language. So, here basically XML is uh, divided into two types. We can create two types of documents in XML. One is well formed XML and the other one is valid XML. Well formed XML means creating the XML document with proper syntax or correct syntax is called as well formed XML. At the time of creating the XML document you have to follow some rules. 
based on that rules if you create the xml document then that document is called as well formed xml valid xml means the xml document must validate with ddd or xsd document type definition or xml schema document then that uh, xml file is called as valid xml every well formed xml may not be what valid xml but every valid xml must be what well formed xml is it clear and if you want to create an xml document as valid xml then first of all it has to well formed means you have to create the xml document by following the proper syntax is it clear in future you will understand because we'll create uh, how to work with the ddd and how to work with what access this so in order to create an xml document we have to follow the rules some basic rules we need to follow in order to create the xml document first so rule number 1 is every xml document must have root element that is the first rule number 2 every starting element must have ending element rule number 3 xml tags are case sensitive rule number 4 xml tags must properly nested that is in which order we will open the tag in the reverse order we have to close the tag rule number 5 xml attribute values must be quoted in double quotes if any xml documents was created by supporting the above below five rules then that document is called as well formed xml rule number 1 is every xml document must have root element every starting element must have corresponding ending element and xml tags are case sensitive xml tags must be properly nested because every tag in xml is container tag which contain both starting element as well as ending element so when you open the tag immediately you have to close the tag and xml attribute values must be quoted in double quotes if any xml document that was created by the above five rules then that xml document is called as well formed xml so actually every xml document will have some structure will be there generally if you want to store the data we will store the data permanently means you can store either in the file or database if you store the data in the xml document the data can understandable by any os or any language or any technology or any database that is the main advantage and why xml became very popular and every xml document will have some structure will be there the hierarchy of any xml document is rule number 1 is every xml document must have at least one root element that is root tag generally we'll call as element and rule number 2 every starting element one root element can have multiple parent elements and every starting element must have corresponding ending element and one parent element can have multiple child elements and all the tags in xml are container tags which contain starting element as well as ending element and we need to uh, nest the xml tags properly xml tags must be properly nested in which order you are opening the tag in the reverse order you have to close the tag and xml attribute values must be quoted here you can see the structure of xml program here i will xml version is equals 1.0 encoding is equals utf8 utf8 utf16 utf32 unit text format so actually as we discussed that every xml tag must have one root element here i will declare one root element and every root element must have corresponding ending element every starting element must have corresponding ending element and then uh, within the root element i will declare one parent element parent element 1 is it clear uh, here i will declare the parent element and uh, that parent element again i will try to what close the parent element and here i will declare what child element child element 1 is it clear and within that child element i will try to store the data close the child element 1 here i will try to store some data here is it clear similarly single parent element can have multiple what child elements here also i have three child elements child element 1 2 and what 3 and similarly i will declare one more parent element is it clear here you can see so let us see whether this uh, xml document is obeying the rules or not rule number 1 every xml document must have one root element so here we have the root element and rule number 2 every starting element must have corresponding ending element here i open the root element and close the root element open the parent element close the parent element it is satisfying rule number 2 and rule number 3 xml tags are case sensitive 
case sense to means here root element r and e are capital here also you have to at the time of closing also you have to give capital r you must not give small r error will come because it is case sense to next rule number 4 xml tags must be properly nested in which order you are trying to open the tag in the reverse order you have to what close the tag every starting element must have corresponding ending element and xml element attribute values must be quoted here you see this is an element xml version version is an element is equals to 1.0 for example if you consider html you will write like this html tag and close the html tag is it clear and um, similarly html is case insensitive doesn't bother about lower case and what upper case and uh, for example if i write something like uh, uh, input uh, here you write something like hr tag id is equals to some id so here you can if you observe clearly here hr is called as what element and id is called as attribute and that this double quotes whatever the value that you will give within this double quotes is called as value so similarly xml or html attribute values must be quoted that you have to declare within the double quotation that's what the fifth point is representing so this xml document is called as well formed xml is it clear let us create one more xml document so here i will try to open my notepad and within this notepad i will try to uh, create one xml document like less than question mark xml version is equals to i will write 1.0 and here I will mention, you can write the XML program either in Notepad or in any of the text editors like uh, Edit Place or Visual Studio Editor or anywhere you can uh, write. Right. So here I will declare one root element. The root element name I will give as employees. Is it clear? And it is a container tag which contains both starting element and ending element. And here I will declare the parent element, employee. Is it clear? So here you can see. And within this employee, I will try to declare some child element, employee number, e number. And here I will try to close the tag, and here I will give 101. And similarly, I will declare e name. And here I will try to close the tag. In which, uh, 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 as it is a case sense to, you have to give the same cases. And here I will give John. And here I will give salary. And here I will try to close the child element. And here I will give the salary as 20,000. As I told that XML is used to describe the data. And this is one root element is employees. Parent element is what? Employee. And here I will declare one more, 102. And here I will give something like mark. And here I will give the salary as 30,000. And here I will declare one more parent elements. You can have multiple parent elements, but at least one root element must be there. 103. James I will write. The salary I will give as uh, 40,000. Here you can see a small correction. I will try to close this uh, UTF-8 you have to give within the double quotes. Is it clear? Once check that one. Now I will try to save this doc, uh, XML file. Every XML file must save with what? Dot .xml. So here I will try to save with employee.xml. Employee.xml. Save. This is already there. Anyway, I will replace it. Now here you can see right click go to open this uh, document with the browser because the output of any uh, xml file or html file will be on the browser so what is the output means just it will just describe the data we have stored the data in the xml file now this data how you are storing the data in the database or in the object or in any of the other file in the same manner here you store the data in the xml file this uh, xml document can understandable by any browser or any OS or any language or any technology. So anyone can consume this data in their front-end application. I hope you understood. So for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. www.youtube.com slash user slash kannababubana And uh, for more updates, you can subscribe to my Facebook group. www.facebook.com slash groups slash worldof.net Thank you. Have a nice day.